55 years, the Eastfield Mall in Springfield officially closed its doors back in July. But now a new shopping center is set to take its place. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Lokri is getting answers on what could be coming to the new Springfield Crossing. It's already been a few months now since the Eastfield Mall here in Springfield was shut down. And although the mall still stands, new developments are on the way. Western Mass News noticed a new billboard standing at the old Eastfield Mall site. The sign reads Springfield Crossing, coming summer 2025. The photo on the sign paints a picture of how the proposed 360,000 foot strip mall will look. Western Mass News caught up with Ward 8 City Councilor Zeta Govin. She has been at the forefront of the project from the very beginning. She tells us she heard Chick-fil-A and some other small shops and restaurants have already committed to filling in space at Springfield Crossing. However, she doesn't know the names of most of the new businesses that will be moving in. They're keeping it very close to the vest. Govin says the billboard signals that the developers are beginning to advertise the property to recruit more shops to the plaza. The community is hoping for a big name like, um, I don't know, Target possibly. Um, home goods would be nice to see there. Um, and we just want to see some new activity there. Govin says the key is putting in stores that will draw people to the neighborhood. This part of Springfield, it's like the last neighborhood, you know, in the city before Wilbraham, before Ludlow, before Chicopee. Um, and a lot of times I think people forget about this part of the city. So I'm hoping it will help them to remember. She adds that not only will Springfield Crossing bring in more shoppers and foot traffic to the area, but it will also help the city financially. From what the report said, they're going to you know, pay a lot of taxes. The stores that are going to go there are going to be paying taxes into the city. Govan hopes when Springfield Crossing is complete, some of the local businesses that had to leave the Eastfield Mall will make their way back to the site. She says rent may be a little pricier, but a marketplace with space for kiosks is also planned on site. So I'm hoping that will be an opportunity for our small business owners to return there. Govan says she's not sure when the Eastfield Mall structure will be completely demolished. However, they have already begun knocking down some of the back sections of the building. Reporting in Springfield, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News. Western Mass News did reach out to the developer Onyx Partners for questions about their plans for Springfield Crossing, but we have not heard back yet.